Welcome to Flooring Models Daily Vlog. Here we are on Wednesday the 24th of February 2016 and making our way through very nicely. Playing a lot of catch up today to be honest. Um, I've been doing editing as you might have noticed the next part of the uh, Terminator went up early this morning. Okay so that is up with you now. It talks all about the washes which I know is a giant plug for our washes and all the rest of it. Uh, they are the best in the world and work better than everybody else's but of course they do. Uh, so we talk about all the different techniques you can use with them. So we're on about doing rain effects streaking, grime, shadowing effects and all those things in one which makes the stuff so easy to use and everything else that is up on the site now. So we also talk about putting it down with an airbrush, taking it off with an airbrush, doing it with a brush uh, and all those different techniques that you can do with the wash in between. Uh, so really pushing on with the Terminator which is now looking very nice and grimy and a lot better and for all those people saying it's far too light feel, need to darken it, that's why I did it light up okay, you have to allow for it alright so that's why we did it. So that one is done, is up on the site now. Going to draw I brush it probably tomorrow, get it really going, get it together, get the stowage items on, do all the little touch-ups, the painty bits and all the bits and pieces like that, and then that one will be complete. So we're really pushing ahead with that one. The other thing was, I, I tend to forget, because we did this MIG now almost two weeks ago, and I forget where you are. So when I come to edit this, so it'll be up with you tomorrow, it was a case of, oh, they haven't even done the acrylic rod yet. And I'm thinking we did that like weeks ago. So uh, it's quite unusual, really. It sort of took me aback. I forgot how far behind you were. Okay, but basically tomorrow it will be up the MIG. I'll put it up first thing in the morning for you. And it talks all about the wash coming off and the different effects you can do with the wash theme for it happening this week okay uh, we also talk about bending the acrylic rod exactly how you do it and all the bits and pieces in there just like that so that is there thank you for all your great questions that we had uh, on yesterday's q a and if you haven't watched it we talked about flo now flo is just about to literally sat here ready to go on her worldwide adventure he she she's a bit you know either direction okay so it's going to go off to hans now now there's a section in the forum that i've literally just put up just before i recorded this talking about how it's going to work and everything else and with snap don't forget all goes to charity so basically minimum donation is 10 grid, uh, great british pounds okay whatever that works out where you are okay um obviously feel free to donate more it's a great thing every penny will go to snap okay the only other thing we ask you to do is post it on to the next member who is closest okay so i.e i'm trying to work this out so when um flows on his way on a journey around the place that there's not too much of a massive gap between because we don't want it zigzagging one minute going from australia to the us then back to new zealand and then over to france and then back to the us so we're trying to do it all the us ones together over the next couple of months then it makes its way over down into the pacific okay so obviously new zealand australia and everything else now the way of working all this out is a bit of a task okay but what i'm thinking is if you all post up in the forum on the flow on the go section okay and then we can actually put down there a list of all the countries where you are in there so we can get it so the postal distance is the shortest possible okay so hopefully you can even do some direct handovers to each other be a great way to meet other members okay and things like that and a common interest obviously doing some good work for charity and things like that I'm going to do a little video about it anyway as a standalone but it's just a little bit of a reminder but get your name down if you do want Flo to come with you we we'll sort out all the money and the bits and pieces later but at the moment I'm just working out the logistics of exactly how to get Flo around in the cheapest possible way so i.e the distances will be very small and all the rest of it because obviously i'm hoping you guys are going to pay the postage as well okay but there we go flo's really excited with passport and case and all the bits and pieces as i said in the thing we want you to take some photos take flo to work with you take her to famous landmarks get some photos of flo doing some great things and then each week on a friday we're going to see where flo is on the world and what's been happening okay and we can sort of keep track and all the rest of it so she can have a massive adventure going right around the world from beautiful cause as you know it's snap as usual great kids great thing and i'm you know i'm not going to do the begging thing here and sound like unicef but they are skint the charity is skint big time okay they are really struggling this year all the corporate sponsors and things like that have all gone now okay so it literally is them with a bucket uh, and all the rest of it just trying to raise the money where they can so it's very close to my heart as you know so if we can do something to help them out that'd be absolutely amazing uh, also got to say thank you for everybody who mentioned about the vegan that we had here okay now this was John's vegan we had yesterday I had loads of people comment about it uh, and here's my question for today to get back to those questions things like that do you take on other people's stored projects because I've had lots of you say that you can pick them up dirt cheap on eBay but it's something I've never thought of doing I've never actually thought about buying a stored project and then working with it you know but do you would you something you would consider would you take on somebody's project 
project for, for it could be just be a beautiful project like that one is that's stalled or something that's a real hanger but you think you can turn it around and do something else like that so that's your question for today okay so really that's it for today uh go and have a look at the terminator is up now the mig will be up with you tomorrow and we're going to be pushing through and then friday with any luck i'm going to be starting on the airliner which let's face it it's not going to take a lot to get it together but uh, it'll be a lot of fun when we get to the painting stage i should think so there we go catch you all tomorrow <laughs>